and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a starburst effect. Obviously there are many ways to do this, this is just the solution that I came up with. Let us first drag some guides, so we got a center point. Now we use the Bezier tool and create a simple line. So click on the center point, left click, hold control and click again somewhere on the right side. Select the cursor tool, the line is still selected. Then go to Path and Path Effects. Click on the plus sign and we need this Rotate Copies function. Let's get rid of the gap here and we'll add some more copies, maybe like 30. The horizontal line is perfect, but the vertical line isn't, so increase the copies. 32 should be fine, that's what we need. The next step is to use the Bezier tool again. So we've basically just created a grid. I will only have to draw this for a quarter circle. We can copy the rest. Depending on how many copies you've got, you can even go so far and only create these shapes for an eighth or a sixteenth of the circle. I'm going to show you this for a quarter. You can now shift click on every other shape, give it a color. And we've already got this basic starburst effect. Let me make the other ones white. You can also use a gradient. So let me click on the red ones and I go to fill and click on a gradient. For the white ones as well. So it kind of like turn to transparent on the edges. The next step is to copy that quarter circle and then fill the rest with it. The best way to do this is to just copy it. So press Ctrl D, then click on it again with the cursor tool and you can rotate it. Just hold Control. So if we position a center point here, but you don't necessarily have to do this. Let me show you this again. For this half circle, I select it all, press Ctrl G to group it. You can see I can just rotate it like this and the snapping is active so that I can reposition it. And this is how you can go about it with an eighth or a sixteenth circle as well. Let me go to File, Document Properties and I get rid of the guides. If you don't like the edges, because the way we've drawn it with the Bezier tool, you can also create a circle in the center. Just hold Ctrl and Shift when you drag that, then select it all, right click and set a clip. And now you've got these edges, so the, so the border on the outside as a perfect curve. And this is how you can create this Starburst effect in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.